everyone, welcome back to Rachel Bella Crafts. Rachel here. Um, so for today's video, I'm going to show you um, a quick way to make, to mass make, um, hidden altered paper clips. Or maybe it's just hidden paper clips. Mm, I don't know, but I'm going to be altering them as well. So I'm going to call them hidden altered paper clips. But the purpose of this video is um, to show you how I'm hoping to make them um, on mass rather than obviously doing them one at a time. So. Um, this is not my idea uh, of how to make p hidden paper clips. Obviously, there's lots of videos on YouTube, um, you know, so don't take credit for this at all. Um, and even though I was watching a couple um, this morning, I just thought, hang on a second, I could do six of those in that time. And it's all about time, isn't it? So I thought, right, okay, let's just give this a try. So I haven't done this prior to doing a video, so I'm going to explain what I'm doing as I go along. So basically, I've taken a scrap piece of uh, paper, something that I've misprinted on, um, and I folded that long ways, so A4 long ways, and I folded it in half. And this is going to go on the inside, so this doesn't matter at all because it is not going to be seen. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is run some paper clips across. Um, if you want to measure, if you're thinking about your embellishment size, so thinking you've got a, um, a book page or a journal page that's about that width and thinking about your embellishment you're not going to really want them any bigger than gosh two inches maybe even be an inch and a half i would say is probably big enough isn't it um so you know if you wanted to kind of like look at that with your positioning you're going to want that then base at about the, the one inch position so if you just want to put a ruler down otherwise if you want to do them freehand you're just putting them every inch and a half so one and a half, and then we want another one at three, and then we're going to put another one at four and a half. Oh my goodness, this has turned into a math lesson. And then we're going to put another one here, that's at six. And then we're going to put another one at six and a half, uh, seven and a half rather. Get on there. And then another one at nine. And I think I may even have enough space to put one here. Yes, I do. I was trying to put it the other way around. There we go. Okay, so I'm hoping, I'm just going to swap them over a minute because I'd like to have, oh no, it's irrelevant. It's, I was just going to swap them over then and put the one side on the other, but it is completely irrelevant whether you've got the long side one side or the short side the other because we're not going to see any of them. So I'll just save myself the pain of... Uh, get my head around that okay so that's our paper clips in place so the next thing that you're going to do now is get a sheet of paper now there are a couple of different ways that you can do this I'm going to show you the fast way and then I'll show you a different way then afterwards but if you just want to hang around for the quick one then it'll be done so I'm going to get a nice piece of sheet of paper um this is one of our new um digis out of the new kit that we just released uh roses of redemption um, and I think that'll be quite nice made into some altered paper clips so I'm going to pop that over there like that now it doesn't matter if your piece of paper on top or underneath is bigger or smaller because it's all going to be cut to shape in a moment anyway um, the main thing here is just the sticking and the glue in so grab your glue of choice I'm going to use this stick glue because it is only um, paper to paper, isn't it, at the end of the day? Because the paper clip isn't going anywhere because it's trapped inside. So don't worry about, you know, using your heavy duty glues. Probably really not necessary. Well, it isn't necessary because the paper clip's got nowhere to go. So obviously when sometimes we do uh, a paper clip and it isn't hidden, we like to, um, well, I know I tend to stick a bit of my strong glue around the paper clip. Uh, you won't need to do that with this because it'll all be stuck inside two bits of paper. Ooh. I hate it when that happens. Right. Okay, so let's position that centrally where I want it. Make sure it's butted right up to the top of the page. And then I'm going to glue down. Somewhere on my desk here. I did have my bone folder. There it is. Oh my goodness, you can tell I've been with my boho. I have sari everywhere and teal thread. <laughs> That's all good fun. Okay, so let's just pump that down. 
obviously keep if you're using a bone folder over the paper clips because you don't want to tear through the paper but there we go so that's that side there sealed awesome now to do the other side now we've probably got a bit of glue seep there but that's okay so we're just gonna again go down with the paper the most important bit is the bottom because <laughs> you don't want the two sheets coming apart now obviously you can do this on a smaller scale and <clears throat> just do these one sheet at a time excuse me i'm croaking like a little frog today um or you can do it this way and make loads at the same time so just make sure you put that glue in between because obviously we will be cutting the sheet down okay and then we are ready now to fold over again and smooth that down and of course the other bonus of using glue stick is it does dry a lot quicker than some of the other glues so we'll be able to work with it then okay so i'm going to just grab my um paper cutter a second be with me a moment okay so now we've got under here now our um hidden paper clips so they're in there obviously they're drying off a second now um now you can either leave them long or you can cut them shorter it's all according to what you want to do with them so as i said to you some of them obviously will be a little bit wider now these are um you know some of these are ready to go and ready to use as as they are they've got nice patterns on there because i've used a pattern paper um some of them you know i may want to add a little bit more too but there is another way that we can do these um that takes a little bit longer but obviously leaves you with a bit more of an interesting um finish so i'm going to quickly show you the alternative now um so if i take another sheet of paper okay what have we got here so i'm going to use this one underneath because this is just again a misprint um oh no i do apologize i'm just going to use oh, well, i'll use that one okay and then i'm going to use this one then um as my piece to go on top so before i forget what i'm doing i'm just going to put my paper clips on because otherwise i may get all excited and then forget the most important bit so here we go maybe we'll just go for six on this one because they're going to be right, one two three four Five and then six. Okay, let's just check where we're at with those. Let's make sure that they're fairly evenly spaced out. Yep, they look good to me. Okay, I'm happy with that. That's fine. So pop that up there. Okay, so I'm just taking um a, a, again, like I say, it's a bit of a misprint, but I do quite like the pattern. So I'm going to keep that in the background, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to collage or masterboard however you want to call it um over the top very simply and really quick simple technique for this because as bear in mind we're going to be cutting downwards is to just run some strips across um across the page and then that way we know that we are going to end up with a bit of a with some nice variety different um two different designs of hidden paper clips now obviously with the collaged ones you could leave those collaged you know depending on how you've done it with collage front and back um you could embellish then on uh, the side that isn't collaged so you've got something a nice pattern on the one side or not on the other 
um, and the same with these, you know, if you just want, you know, you could make that into a flag shape now and um, add that in as a, as, a, as a flag. You can cut these in half and make them smaller. So um, I did have a folded sheet here. Oh, I don't know where I've done that now. Oh, here we go. So um, this, I'm going to do the next lot after the video. I'm going to do some more and I'm going to do them on this size. So obviously they'll be the smaller square type. Um, but again, it's all according. So I'm going to just quickly embellish these now, just to give you guys some ideas what I will do with them um, as they're nice and long. And then we'll, um, we'll have a quick recap. Okay. complete now so I've just given you a bit of a glance into how um, how I've made them um, and just thought you might want to have a quick look at them now um, while they're all done and I make sure you have some of them going to the journal so here's some smaller ones here um, obviously I've cut these down and just simply added um, some embellishments to them and um, there's another one there with a nice bit of 3D on that one and then this one here I took some sari and I stitched uh, the key onto it and added a bit of a tab um, obviously now I haven't done anything to the back of them. Um, you don't have to, but you might like to do to the back as well, depending on where you're going to put them in your journal. Um, and then these ones here then, which are for my um, for the boho journal that I've got here now. So this one there with a nice embellishment on there. There's this one here with um, some fabric embellishment and some little dangles on the bottom. Sorry, I've already zoomed you in. Blind you all then. Um, and I just put. Um, two eyelets in the bottom of that and then on the back I put a bit of lace because I did forget and I did cut straight through but obviously just bear in mind you do need to put this over a page so don't do what I didn't put the eyelet cut a crocodile thing straight through and um, there's another one there with a lovely gem embellishment on there um, and another one there very similar and then this one here um, is a small little cuff one and it has got a little peacock charm on the bottom and I've simply put lace across it. So if I quickly move these out of the way a second, I'll just show you then how these can go then into the journal. Um, so here we go, it's a nice blank page there. You can see now, can you? So there we go, this will simply then go over the page. There we go, and now you've got instant embellishment on the page or you can have there we are, I've got another page here and this one is to go on sideways so oh I would pick a page where I got something on the back wouldn't I okay let's try this one here we go and that then just simply slides in there like that and then under there then you can um, add you know um, a journaling card or and it'll just hold it nicely in place like that for you. Um, another alternative one to that as well is using some of the, um, the boho trims and I've simply stuck that around the um, altered paper clip card and again then that will just slide on there and make a nice cuff. 
So there we go, job done. Thanks ever so much for joining me today. I hope you found the video helpful and I hope if you watch the embellishment section as well that you were able to get some ideas for um, decorating your altered paper clips. Thanks ever so much for joining me. I'll catch up with you all very soon. Take care now, bye.